so now let's we talk about what is github right so we have seen what is git right and how we can normally use in a locally system right so this is normally git is normally get installed to the developer machine to the automation tester machine from where they have stored the local code and where they are actually working okay now the github is something we can just say similar structure that we have in a git but it is on a web base right and the difference that i found is wonderful image and that is totally makes sense when you want to differentiate between git and github right sometimes they will definitely ask this question what is git and github so we already know what is git git is a software that we normally install locally in our system right and that will work on a command line application right the git bash that we have seen we can open the git bash and we can put our command each and every command how we can start from scratch we will learn in this particular series so no need to worry but let's we understand what is github as the name suggests right github is the web based platform that used for the version controlling right and as as i told you right git normally update the local repository while github manages the remote repository right the copy of that particular local things you can commit on a remote side and that will be stored over there so similar way right we have all used the google drive right so what we normally do we create some application or we create some uh, excel file or document right but we, when we feel okay, i can use this file when i i am not on my laptop right i want to use it from mobile so what you normally do you upload that particular things to your google drive right so let's suppose your driving license copy or something like that way your resume or something like that way or any learning material right i used to keep my learning material in my google drive so whenever i am traveling somewhere or whenever i am not with the application right i know uh, not with the, my machine or laptop i normally refer the over the internet so similar way your code from local repository you want to put on remote repository you can use github right and we know how to install git now we will see how to how to configure or how to create an account in github okay so i will just put github over here and if you see the first one first uh, over here it's just come github okay so this is how the github look like and always just says i have created one a dummy account to just showcase you from scratch so i can use that account so i will click on sign up right and over here I will put my email address okay so this is the email address slt learning with ankit i have created i will put my email address over here just hold on just it's a new ui so just hold on let me click on this one again why it is not working or i will just say create a new account okay i think it's refreshing so please be with me it bit slow right otherwise it will ask you to enter your email address over here and once you will enter your email address it will take you to the further process how you can configure your email you see so few things is automatically so it says just enter your email address so i am just entering my email address and clicking on continue so if my email address is not used previously then it will ask you so to create a github you should have some email address right it could be anything it, it's not necessary to have a gmail you can use your company email address or you can use any email address to create a github account and i am going to put my command over here slt learning so it just says strong if i want to view i can also view slt learning 3.2 and i can click on continue it's asking me to select the username right so guys this email address and username is always useful so i am just putting same thing slt learning with sorry space is not allowed slt learning with ankit i will click on i will copy this one right and i will click on continue it just says would you like to uh, yes i want to see the updates i will just says yes and i am just copying this username over here okay because this username and the email address will help me to configure the element it just says verify your account and i will just says create account okay so as soon as you will go okay it just says 
password okay it is asking me to change my password so i will just puna says learn automation okay i will just keep it learn automation okay and learn automation i will just i'm just writing down over here learn automation so or if it is not compatible and why it is giving it just says continue i will just say continue and i will just say continue yeah and once you will click on continue it will ask you to solve the puzzle okay it will come around two to three times it's a very simple one just to make sure you are not a robot right you just pick up one spread that shows two identical object so i will just say it's two identical object this one right one done two identical object that i need to pick up so I'll just this one right and just say it's done and then i can click on create account okay now it will take some time and now it will ask me to enter the code that has been sent to the email right and that is the reason you should have email address and necessary so i will go to my email address i will refresh my browser and just says yep i got a code from github 9631617 okay so 9631617 okay so this is my code i will double make sure and yeah and it took me to this one it just says how many team member i will just say two two three and i will just say i'm a teacher and I will click on continue so these are the process okay this says i gonna use this for collaboration coding automation and ci cd and whatever you want to select you can select okay that's fine then it just ask you do you want a free version or the additional one i will just use my free one continue for free and as soon as you will click on continue your free it will take you to your dashboard page it is initializing your dashboard page and this is how your github look like okay guys so this is the basic one this is how the first login will look like and this is over here you can see this is your username as you're learning your profile your repository your project and everything you will see it over here okay so this is how you can create a account in github okay now we will see how you can create a repository right in your github account right so what is repository right guys that is a part of learning what is repository so as of now we have seen what is git what is github what is the difference between them github is a service right which we can use over the cloud over the internet where a git is a software because we have installed in our local machine and we have just make sure by the exe file we have installed it git is installed locally github is on a web base right and how they gonna work and how it gonna be actually work in a real time uh, company right we will see the structure completely okay but before that let's we understand the next things what is repository okay so repository and branch these are the two things you normally came across when you talk about git and github right so repository always think simple right it is a folder right it is a folder that contain all your files directories subfolders right which you want to track for the revision of or for the version history right so repository in a simple word called a folder that hold all the files and directory okay so in a git and github concept we will have a two type of repository one is local repository and one is re remote repository local repository that means git that normally we create at the local on a machine right on a developer machine or automation tester machine and remote repository which is remain on github side it's over here okay so these are the two things guys remote and local now what is branch right so branch is nothing but where to where to track those things right where you want to track the stable version of the application where the every point of the file will be tracked at the at, like i will just say this is the final version of the application that is we call a branch right so in a one repository right we will have a multiple branch in one project we will have multiple branch based on the developer we are working right to track their changes to track their information so branch and repository we will see in a while in a practical way but this is what the concept of repository right so now 
let's we do one thing let's we create one master repository okay for our project so what we can do we can go over here and over here you will find the option create your first project right and this is your create your first project means create the repository the project means repository okay so i will click on repository and i will just say it says honor is slt learning and i will just say orange trm and demo one okay so it just says orange hrm demo one is available okay and i will just say description if you want to put this is for training for first guys okay i'm going to make it public i will add a file right and a git call this is something that you no need to worry just keep it simple add a read, readme file that will help you to put some instruction and i will just click on create repository okay so this is how you can create a new repository in your account and i will click on create repository so as soon as you will click on create repository right what github will do github will create one space for you like this is totally a google drive guys so over here you can put your files right but what is a disadvantage in google file right let's suppose if you have one file with some data if you try to upload at the same copy right either it will ask you to uh, upload uh, update or it will ask you to create a copy but in a github what will happen it will keep the same file but track the changes what is newly added what has been removed in that file so all those things you can track it over here okay so this is our how the first repository look like okay so so far so clear right guys what is git how to install git what is github how to create a github repository how to create a github account so everything if you are a non technical right if you are non it guy still you can understand this is very basic and why i would suggest to have these things before you start your learning right because practice this thing guys when you practice git commit git pulls good uh, git call clone git uh, I will just a different command of git right then and then you will remember easily because this in in automation testing interview right they will definitely ask you the question related to this okay and in automation your actual job description or actual work git and github you will did, uh, come across day to day activity okay so this is so far we have for git and github and we have installed both of them we have created the account for both of them and now what we gonna do we will gonna learn more about how we can use the github and git bash and to track the files and we will start with this single files okay guys Yes, so now you must be getting some more idea about what is Git, what is GitHub, how you can install Git and how you can create your account in GitHub. If you're watching this series, right, and if you want to really do want to learn, right, just do the practical together, guys, because sometimes just watching a video will not help you. So you have to do the practical along with the videos. OK, so make sure after watching this video, you should have your Git installed and your Git repository created. So in a next video, when we will talk about actual uh, commands on Git, right? How you can send data from local to remote repository and how you can clone from remote to local, that will help you. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much and happy learning.